What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Rudy and in today's video, we're gonna go on our first drive in the Shelby with the new setup. Got the car right here and it's back on the drag pack. It was on the 20s, but gonna go do some pulls in it and drive it and see how it feels. So we definitely gotta have the drag pack on there. Uh, so as you know, new for the car, we have uh, the fuel system, four innovations, return style fuel system. We did change the injectors, ID 1700s, and the car is back on E85. So previously it was on MS109. We're still on the 2.3 pulley, so car should be making 22 to 23 pounds of boost. And we also have the SSP clutches. So upgraded clutches, uh, we're gonna go for a drive and see how it feels on the new power level. The car made a little over a thousand wheel horsepower. And we're also gonna see how the SSP clutches feel. Is it still gonna drive like stock or are they gonna be aggressive? I have heard that they are aggressive in track mode and in sport mode. You do get a kick on them when uh, you're upshifting the car. So curious to see how that feels. Curious to see how the car is gonna drive. So we're gonna take it for a spin. We're gonna get some pulls in it and uh, see how it is. All right guys, so I've been driving the car around for a little bit now and it still drives exactly the way it did when it was stock, which is a good thing because usually when you upgrade to such a big injector and do a return style fuel system, you do suffer drivability on your car. So the fact that this thing can still drive like stock and I can drive it every day with no issues or drivability problems, it's it's sick, man. You would never guess driving this car that it has a thousand plus wheel horsepower. So it's a thousand plus wheel horsepower daily driver and, and to me that's that's, that's bad man i was scared that i wasn't gonna be able to drive this car as much once i did this setup but it still drives comfortably man i couldn't be any more happier clutches still drive like stock as well so right now i'm in normal mode and i have the car in drive i did notice though when you do come to a stop it is a little clunky the car clunks a little bit once it's coming to a stop um so it, it is a little aggressive coming to a stop but other than that man i mean shifting the car i'll put it in manual mode right now and I'll do some downshifts right here. But downshifting, it, it still downshifts perfectly. I can't tell any difference between these and the and the stock clutches. So that's definitely some good news as well. So here's here's another downshift. Yeah, I can't tell, I can't tell any difference, man. So I have driven the car already in normal mode, sport mode, and in track, both in drive and manual, and still drives the same man i can't tell any difference so that's definitely a good thing but the real test isn't going to be driving around in the city you know that's not something i was worried about i know the clutches are going to work um i did think they were going to be a little bit aggressive on some of the upshifts or downshifts which that isn't the case but uh the real test is going to be at the drag strip so i knew there wasn't going to be any issues with these clutches in terms of roll racing well at least at least as of right now there's no issues roll racing the car we're going to test that right now in a little bit i am going to do some pulls in the car uh so we can test the clutches and not only test the clutches but test the new setup and see how it feels but um there shouldn't be any issues with the car driving around which there hasn't been or uh doing rolls in the car so we're going to do some rolls but again the main thing is going to be how does it perform at the drag strip because are these things going to need tuning so are they going to be able to perform at the track without tuning if they're going to need tuning we might run into some issues because as you know there still isn't 100 percent trans axis yet so uh if they do need tuning um, i'm kind of screwed when it comes to the drag racing part until they release more trans support to tune the clutches so we'll test that out shortly in the coming days we'll take the car to the drag strip and see how it performs at the drag strip but today we're going to do some rips on the street and see how it feels from a roll here's some normal mode shifts Thing drives flawlessly man clutches drivability on everything it just it drives very very well so now we're gonna go put some gas because I am low on gas we're gonna fill up on some E85 and we'll go do some pulls in the car
this thing is crazy, man. I wish I could do more pulls for you guys, man, but I literally gotta ice this thing down before every pass. I can't do back-to-back -back passes. I can't even do pulls without icing it down, so it's definitely a pain in the ass. And on top of that, I'm on the stock motor, so my time's limited, man. I don't wanna be doing pulls all the time. I wanna keep the amount of pulls that I do on this car limited just so I can prolong the motor. I have no idea if this thing's gonna blow up or when it's gonna blow up, you know, so. Um, I, I do want to limit the amount of pulls I, I do on the car. If not, I would have gotten more pulls for you guys. But this thing is crazy, man. This thing is so damn nuts. You got to feel it in the car, driving it or as a passenger. This thing is nuts, man. The video isn't going to do it justice. This thing is crazy. It is so damn crazy, man. Holy sh**. I'm interested to see what this thing's gonna do 60 to 130 now on the new setup so I'll definitely do a video getting some 60 to 130 times with the draggy and see what it does now on the new setup and coming up I am gonna take the car to the drag strip so that I can test the new clutches so we'll take the car to the drag strip and see how they perform so I have that video gonna be coming out soon uh, once I make some passes with the car and I do have some races lined up with some of my buddies so we're gonna test the new setup against some fast ass cars man all a thousand plus wheel horsepower cars so uh, we'll see how everything goes. I did get the car ready for the Slipstream Racing event at Pocono Raceway on July 18th, but that event did get canceled, so they rescheduled that for October 3rd. Um, so I guess that gives us a little bit more time to dial in anything that needs sorting out with the car, but the car will be ready for October 3rd. We are gonna head back out there to Pennsylvania uh, for the uh, Slipstream Racing event. So uh, that'll be coming in October, but from here, man, I mean, the car's done. All that's left to do now is just enjoy it and make content with it so uh, we'll see how this car performs on the street uh, at the drag strip and just overall see if it lasts and where we go from here might do a built motor and a whipple might add some nitrous to it so uh, we'll see but definitely stay tuned guys that's gonna wrap up this video thank you guys for watching and as always don't forget to like comment subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one